Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. Game number three of WCG China 2013. Spawning in the bottom left-hand position. Winning the second match. His name is Solki, hailing from Korea, playing for Wunjin Stars. And his opponent, the upstart from Taiwan, in the blue. He won the first game. He looked great in the second. Can he close it out, or will Solki continue Korean dominance? Yeah, over the world of StarCraft and eSports, his name is Ian. Now, as we were just saying, or as you were just saying, WCG, uh, the Koreans are struggling a bit more than they would uh, normally, yeah. I think. And this reminds me of what happened last year, where Lowly actually, he knocked out Marine King, and he beat, excuse me, he beat Yonghua. Two Koreans beaten by Lowly, a foreigner. And that's two out of three Koreans in the whole competition, so... Anything can happen here at WCG, I feel. Uh, well, it looks like uh, Ian, he's continuing with the standard pool trend. Yeah. And Solki, Solki hatch oh. first. Hatch first. Mm. Now, obviously, hatch first is a little bit better than going for pool first. Mm -hmm. But it's also a little bit riskier because an early pool can really uh, mess up your day if you're not very familiar on how to defend it and it depends on the map. But I think, oh, hatch gas and then pool. That means his pool is going to be so late where an early pool from Ian would have been very effective. Uh, almost like a, almost a build order one basically at that point, right? Uh, a big advantage, I would say. Depends okay. on how the micro is done. If but yeah. If you're against Jadong, it's not a build order win. <laughs> and I yeah. guess Solki in that situation probably Sis, the same. Mm, Solki. <laughs> I agree. But, uh, you know, Solki, uh, because it's just a standard pool timing, uh, he got the early gas. He's really just focused on powering out a lot of units. He's going to have a, a little bit of an economic lead early game. Uh, yeah, but Ian, once again, every game he's making a pair of Zerglings as soon as his pool pops to try to scout his opponent's base. So this shows that Ian is also a very safe player. He, uh, he elects to go for the pool first, which de deflects the early pool. Yeah. Oh. Then he gets the Zerglings to scout his opponent's main base to see that because it's a Zerg versus Zerg matchup, he can't hide anything on the map. No shenanigans. <laughs> How much gas do you have? Do you have Zergling speed? An evolution chamber maybe, or a Bailey nest, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, the more knowledge you have on your opponent, the more you can see. Yeah. Generally, that's just, it leads to the safer play, more informed decisions, uh -huh. and allows the better player to make uh, the biggest advantage out of a situation. But as far as uh, how the build orders have uh, went, I think Solki, he's in the lead here. Hatch first, unpunished. Gas first, unpunished. His Zergling speed is ahead of Ian's. But does he have a Bailing a Nest? <laughs> uh, all right, so we do have the Bailing Nest on the way from Ian. Yeah, but there's not one for Solki. Unless he got it so, so early. I don't think he has one. Uh, I don't think he has a Bailing Nest. Uh, and it uh, looks like Ian, he's building a few Zerglings. Uh, are you, do you think we're going to see some aggression coming out from uh, him momentarily? Soki, he's making eight Zerglings. Now this, oh, oh, more Zerglings, okay. So I was going to say, it could it could have been a pressure, like a fake, to force some units out of Ian. But Soki, this is something that DRG likes to do, actually, with the fast Zergling speed, not getting a Bailing Nest, but a lot of Zerglings. Yeah, I guess technically with really good micro, you can uh, at times overcome yeah. some of the banelings. But if your opponent has really good micro too, and he has the baneling nest finished, he should be able to defend and be a, a few drones ahead. So Ian's has, Ian has seen this coming, and he's making his own banelings. Just two though, so if Soki... Oh, Soki's just running up the ramp. Ah, uh, and he's splitting his yeah. Zerglings, going to the main, going to the natural. Can he get the proper surround on no. the queen? Uh, the drone's already being pulled off the mineral line, yeah. going oh, after that queen. queen number two, falling almost instantaneously. Oh, that bailing oh. from one Zergling, that's not good for Ian. And uh, this is actually a terrible position for Ian. He's already lost five workers, six, and it may not stop here. Sulky, he's droning up heavily behind oh. this, getting a spine crawler. While Ian, on the other hand, he's lost a lot of units. He's making nothing but Zerglings, and... Overall, He's, just yeah. excellent play from Solki. Solki's almost double now oh. in drones, and he has four queens. So Ian, he can't make uh, larva injects. Solki has two extra queens and a spine for defense. 
Uh, Ian's only choice here now, I think, would be to all-in, I, I would say. Oh. May go for the all-in. We do see that he's getting the plus one armor on the Evolution Chamber, trying to build up a few more drones, get his economy back online. But uh, like you said, it, it's, it doesn't look like a good position. That He may just have to all-in just... The, the Zerglings here, they're not going to do anything against the Queen Wall with the yeah. Spinecrawler support. Uh, overall, Solki really, really just showing his finesse, his expertise in the matchup. And Solki, just like in the previous two games, is going for a, a Roach style, uh, mainly based on two bases. And the thing that Ian had going for him in game one, which was a nice read, a fast third, he doesn't have that. He doesn't even have queens. His, second, his first and second queen are just coming out now, so... Yeah, uh, I, it's not very. <laughs> the, 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 I think that Solki having an advantage this time around is going to allow uh, for it's his a more aggressive advantage. play to really, you know, pay off for him. Yeah, I think even if Ian was Solki, and Solki was Ian, that Ian would be able to close out the series based oh. on this nice lead. Uh, Ian, he is trying to, to get a third expansion uh, really quickly as well, but uh, that does seem to be a bit risky considering the position he's in. Oh, uh, I think. Even if uh, if that third goes unpunished, he was just too behind from that early attack. He's been crippled, I would say. And unless something spectacular happens, like Soki move commands his army, <laughs> and then loses all of it, uh, things are very, very grim for Ian. All right, well, Ian's doing his uh, best to try to do a little bit of harassment. Maybe he can actually force a cancel on the hatchery. Yes, he does force the cancel. The Zergings will fall, I guess, a very minor victory, if oh, at one the same at time, all. his own third is a goner. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, completely evened it out against oh. Loki. May actually <laughs> be able to kill off a Baneling or no. two uh, if he's uh, really good with his micro. The Baneling's getting low on health, and the that Zerglings queen. and the oh. natural, and they're gonna attempt to pick off a, a unit here or there. Also getting a full scout in the main base. Yeah. Really, Solki is all over the place yeah. in this game, Soul playing key. amazing. See, now with Zergling speed, you're able to see. The difference in Soki's play, he's no longer passive, he's commanding the game. I think commanding is an understatement. <laughs> he is owning this game, Andrelisk. Uh, look at the supplies as well. We already have Solki up to 108, and his opponent, Ian, you know, barely hitting the uh, scratching yeah. 70. Uh, Soki, more economy, double the army, uh, the faster third base. Everything's going in his favor. Indeed, everything is going in Solki's favor, and I'm not sure if he can actually be stopped at this point. He's moving across the map with a pretty solid amount of roaches. And, uh, you know, Ian, he's got to be very careful losing a few more units. The Banelings, what are they going to do against these roaches? Doesn't look like much. Smashing in the uh. drop off the mineral line. This may actually just be lights out for Ian. He's doing the best he can. Desperate maneuvers uh, with the drones and the roaches. But, I mean, really, the numbers, they speak for themselves. There's simply more roaches. For Solki, GG is called, and Solki, after being almost eliminated in game number two,